Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this makeup look with rose gold eyes and nude lips. I was actually wearing this makeup look in my last haul video if if you haven't watched that video then please do watch it i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go and check that out i think this makeup look is absolutely perfect for any wedding or any party so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm priming my face using this nyx photo loving primer in clear i already moisturized my face half an hour ago so i'm not moisturizing my face again I'm just spreading it with my fingers now your primer needs some time to settle down and to prep your face for foundation or anything on top so while my primer is settling down I'm going to go ahead and do my brows for that I'll be using my essence eyebrow pencil in the shade chocolate brown and first i'm just drawing the borders then i'll be filling it up using smaller strokes i have already shared my eyebrow routine with you all if you haven't watched that video then please go and check that out i have shared so many tips and tricks that will be really helpful for you now with a spoolie i'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed and there is no patchiness or harshness at all. Now I'm using this LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Corrector and with a lip brush from Puna Store, I'm just carving out my eyebrows so that they look sharp. I'm just blending it out using my finger. I'm using these two color characters from LA Girl, the orange and yellow character. I have mixed them together and I'm just applying it under my eyes, on my eyelids, around my mouth and wherever I have acne spots and pigmentations. If you do not have such problems like I do, then you can totally skip this step. But if you have pigmentation on your face, then I advise you to do this step. Otherwise, your foundation may look little grayish in color. I'm just blending everything out using my damp beauty sponge. Now for my foundation today I'm using this Maybelline liquid foundation. I think this is Dream Satin liquid foundation in the shade Pure Beige. And I'm just blending everything out using the same beauty sponge. I honestly love this foundation. This is really easy to blend and this covers up my skin acne spots and everything so nicely now I'm just priming my lips using this Maybelline lip balm for highlighting and concealing I'm using this Maybelline fit me concealer in this shade sand sable and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows down the bridge of my nose center of my forehead sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next now with the same beauty sponge I'm just blending everything out again blending is the key of a good makeup so always take your time and blend your foundation, concealer, everything really nicely. Now I'm taking my Rimmel's Paste Powder and with the same beauty sponge I'm taking the powder and I'm setting the areas wherever I applied the concealer. With a fluffier powder brush, I'm just setting my face and neck. I'm taking this light brown color from my 
Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color. This palette is so nice and I, I literally fell in love with it when I first started using it. I think this is the first time I'm using it and it is so easy to blend and the colors are really nice. Now I'm taking this shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my crease using this elf brush. I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation because I do not want any patchiness. Now I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just applying it on my outer V area in a V shape. Now with a clean blending brush, I'm just blending everything out so that there is no harshness or patchiness at all. I'm taking this beautiful rose gold color. This is a very shimmery rose gold color and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. Now I'm taking the crease shade again and I'm just blending out the harsh edges. Now I'm taking the dark brown color and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line with it. Now I'm taking the rose gold color that I applied on my eyelids and I'm just stamping it over the brown shade to, to make everything look put together. For my waterline and for tight lining I'm using this Jordana Isline eyeliner pencil in black. Now I'm using this Essence waterproof eyeliner play pen and I'm just getting a very nice wing here. I honestly love this kind of makeup look. This is so nice, so easy and this this goes really well with any outfits. So I just love this kind of makeup look and this is one of my favorite makeup looks. Now I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. For that I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Mascara and I got it from India. For eyelash, I'm using this pack eyelashes in this number 55. These are very natural looking lashes and here is the complete eye look. For contouring, I'm using this contour palette from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Caramel Toffee and I'm just contouring slash bronzing up my face. I'm also contouring my big fat nose. I'm using this Milani baked bronzer in glow and I'm just bronzing up my face to bring back some color. I love this bronzer. This has a really nice gold reflex in it and it just gives you a very nice glow as well as a very nice tanned look. For my blush, I'm using this elf blush in blushing and I'm just applying it on the high points of my face. This is a very natural looking blush. It gives a very light hint of color 
your cheeks for my highlighter i'm using this elf highlighter in starlight glow and with this elf highlighting brush i'm just applying it on the high points of my face like my cheekbones chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose and the sides of my forehead this highlighter is a little powdery but the shade is really nice if you can skip that powderiness you will enjoy this highlighter I'm also highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with the same highlighter Now I'm using this NYX makeup setting spray and I'm just quickly setting my makeup. For my lipstick, I'm going to use this Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. I love this color. This is a very nice mauveish color and I'm just quickly adding some jewelry. And here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, then please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please check that out. See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.